So, do you know what we should be looking forward to at the next World Cup? Of course, India are the host again, 50 over World Cup. No, 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 no. Football World Cup. Ah. Let's have a look together then. Before we begin, I would just like to say that these are the reasons that I consider as the top 5 reasons why we should be looking forward to the next FIFA World Cup in 2026. Let's begin with number 5. We got 3 countries as co-hosts. Only once in all history of the Football World Cup, we had a World Cup that was organized or should I say co-hosted by two countries. It was the 2002 edition in Japan and Korea. The first World Cup in Asia was also the first and only instance that we had two countries co-hosting the World Cup. In 2026, that record will be broken as we will have not two but three countries co-hosting one edition of the World Cup when United States, Mexico and Canada will co-host the next edition of the FIFA World Cup. This is going to be the fourth World Cup in North America. Mexico has already hosted the World Cup twice in 1970 and 1986. It will thus become the first country to host or co-host the World Cup thrice. United States has already hosted once in 1994. This will be the first time that we have Canada hosting the World Cup, albeit as co-host. So that's three countries as co-host at number five. Moving on to number four, we got most number of African teams. There were five African teams in total that participated during this year's FIFA World Cup in Qatar. This is how that number has evolved over the years. The first few editions were predominantly an European and Latin American affair, which explains the lack of African teams in the tournament up until the early 90s. Having said that, even today, Africa remains underrepresented in the World Cup. The greatest number of African teams we ever had was six in 2010 in South Africa which was the first and only World Cup that took place on the African continent so far. That edition's record will be broken in the next World Cup in 2026, where we will have 9 African teams through direct qualification and possibly a 10th through the intercontinental playoffs. So that's most number of African teams at number 4. Moving on to number 3, we got most number of Asian teams. There were 6 Asian teams in total that participated during this year's FIFA World Cup in Qatar. The most we ever had. This is how that number has evolved over the years. The 2022 edition's record will be broken in the next World Cup in 2026, where we will have 8 Asian teams through direct qualification and possibly a ninth through the intercontinental playoffs. As we saw in the case of Africa, the first few editions were predominantly an European and Latin American affair, which explains the lack of Asian teams in the tournament up until the late 90s. Having said that, even today, Asia remains underrepresented in the World Cup. So that's most number of Asian teams at number 3. Moving on to number 2, we got most total number of games. There will be a total of 80 games that will be played during the next edition of the FIFA World Cup. This is how that number has evolved over the years. We will talk about the reason why we have 80 games soon. Needless to say, 80 games are quite a lot. Imagine the logistical hassle behind organizing an event of such a magnitude. That's where having co-host helps. Among the 80 games, Mexico and Canada will host 10 matches each, whereas United States will host the remaining 60 games. And now, without further ado, we are going to talk about the number one reason on this list why the next FIFA World Cup will be different, the 48-team format of the tournament. No prizes for guessing, as most of you already know, the FIFA World Cup is expanding to include 48 teams instead of the current 32-team format which has been a norm since the 1998 edition. This explains why we have more number of games, more number of teams from Asia and more teams from Africa participating in the next edition of the FIFA World Cup. The 48 teams will be divided into 16 groups of 3 teams each, each team playing 2 games. The top 2 teams from each group will qualify for the next round, which will be the round of 32, a knockout round. The winner advancing to the round of 16 and you know the rest. The number of games that one team needs to play in order to win the World Cup or finish in the top 4 remains at 7. So, whom do you think? Sorry, cricket game. What did I miss? <laughs>